Well, top fight fans, thank you once again for coming through. Much appreciated. Um, remember, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. So um, I've just watched a few videos um, of post-fight reaction to Eubank Jr. versus um, George Groves. And I've even read a few articles. I just read a piece in The Guardian, um, online, and every single person is talking about Chris Eubank Jr. That's the story, right? Um, Chris Eubank Jr. Um, was he going to live up to the hype? Is he going to be the new superstar? Everyone's talking about Ronnie Davis's influence in the corner. Um, Chris Eubank Sr.'s influence or lack thereof of influence. And I think everyone's forgetting about George Groves. Everyone seems to be forgetting about the guy that went into the fight, I think, with the most pressure. If George Groves lose to Chris Eubank, that's it. It's done. That's it. No matter what you say, there, there is no comeback for George Groves. That's it. It would be the same old story on the biggest occasion, on the biggest, uh, you know, in the biggest arenas, the biggest TV audience, he loses. Right? That's Badu Jack. Remember, that was the undercard of Floyd Mayweather. I think everyone forgets that. Um, it would have been a case of Carl Frotch, Wembley, Carl Frotch, the first fight. And this would have been that. It would have been that. It would have been Emmy and Arena, ITV box office. You got beat by a middleweight. So a lot of pressure was on George Groves, and he delivered. It's, you know, one thing you've got to give credit for George Groves is that he's adapted. You know, you look at George Groves, he watched, before this fight, about a few hours before, I was watching Carl Froch versus George Groves, the first fight. George Groves does not fight like that anymore. His jab isn't like that anymore. His right hand isn't like that anymore. His foot movement isn't like that anymore. But he's been able to adapt as he's got older. Something that James DeGill hasn't been able to do. James James DeGill still thinks that he's got his, his speed and reflexes off the ropes, which he hasn't. And we think we've seen that in fights against Badu Jack and Truax and even, even Lucien Butte. George Groves is almost like he understands he doesn't have the same skill set he had three, four, five years ago. And he's been able to adapt very, very well to the skill set he has now. And I think that's why he's probably got three or four more years left at least um, at the elite level because he's been able to adapt right in front of him today. And look, it's easy to kind of say Chris Eubank Jr. You know, lacks skill and, and lacks this and lacks that. Sometimes you've got to give the other guy credit. George Groves negated a lot of those things. Up close, where Eubank was supposed to be really good, George Groves held on, put his weight on him. George Groves landed the better shots, the cleaner shots, the crisper shots. I think he put Chris Eubank down once, maybe even twice. And I think a lot of credit has to go to George Groves in his performance. And I think a lot of people are maybe, and including myself, focusing on what Chris Eubank didn't do well, rather than what George Groves did do well. And George Groves done a lot very well. Another thing about George Groves, when you think about it as well, is this is a guy, remember George Groves is only 29, by the way. He's almost been on our TVs and our screens for years, so he, you sometimes think he's a lot older. George Groves is 29 years of age, but he's been able to make big decisions at the right time. I mean, at the time when he moved away from Adam Booth, everyone was like, what are you doing? He made that decision at a young age. At the time, after the Badu Jack performance, he said he wants to get rid of Fitzpatrick. he done that. Again, everyone was like, what are you doing? George Groves isn't afraid to make decisions for the benefit of his career. And so far... So good, right? I mean, look, he's only lost to Badu Jack and Carl Froch. He's, he's now got two belts. He's a world champion. He's made great money. And he's going to go into the World Boxing Super Series final, where he probably will win the final and make very good money. So, look, I'm you, you've got to give credit to him. Um, I think he's fantastic for the sport. I did say this on, I can't remember what video, but I said I think he's one of the most underrated British boxers we have. He should be... He should be getting a huge amount of support, but he doesn't. Um, and I, I feel like hopefully this performance gives him that support. I think hopefully fans um, that tuned in for this one will tune in for the winner of Cameron Smith versus Jurgen Bremer against him, because I think he deserves it. Um, and especially when you think of all the problems that are going on around Shane McGuigan as well. David Hay left Shane McGuigan. Carl Frampton left Shane McGuigan. George Groves has stood still. George Groves has stood still, which shows me He's got something and has something up top between his ears that Chris Eubank doesn't. George Groves is able to make difficult decisions for the benefit of his career. Um, Chris Eubank isn't. And it's strange because, remember, these guys are the same age. I think Chris Eubank is 28, George Groves is 29. 
But um, in terms of life experience, in terms of um, making difficult decisions, they're light years uh, apart from each other, light years. So massive congratulations to George Groves. I think he looked good. Again, we're not seeing these same George Groves of four or five years ago, but we're seeing a George Groves that I think has been able to adapt. And I think him and Shane make a good partnership. I, I really do. Tactically, they seem spot on. Um, he does still look a bit tired. I think in round 12, minus the dislocated shoulder, I still think he was slowing down, but I think he's always going to have that. George Groves is a huge super middleweight that has to boil down, never looks good in the scales. So I think they're just going to have to monitor how he eats and how he looks after himself in between fights. But in terms of this performance, you've got to give it to him. It was a very good performance. If you have to score it, um, probably a 7, 8 out of 10 against a live opponent. Um, again, let's not critique Eubank too much. Let's give all those positives to, to George Groves instead. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know. Peace.